Hello crafters, this is Gareth from Juice Creations and welcome to video number two and week number two of my Christmas in July series. Today we are going to be making these snowmen Christmas decorations, Christmas tree decorations. Now all you'll need is um, some vintage looking um, music sheet paper and you'll need some um, embellishments, some glue, scissors, some twine to hang them up with. I'm going to show you what I did because I didn't have any vintage style music paper so I found this one online and I will leave a link to this uh, music vintage music sheet paper um, below and I just printed some off. I then went on and I found a snowman template that I liked which I will also link below and I found a carrot nose template and a um, hand or arm template which I will link all those templates below this video. So I'm using the, as an upcycle as I like to reuse and keep things I've kept these which is uh, um, I had some gems on them some adhesive um, bling on them and I have in true Blue Peter fashion, here's one I cut out earlier. Using my template, I have now drew around the template and cut it out. So that's what we're going to do. I will do the same on the music note paper. So put my template to one side. You, this is the um, this is going to be the actual ornament. So what I need to, is to draw around the side which is going to if you have the the piece that's not going to show facing you that way you get the best um, you'll get the best I know what I'm trying to say <laughs> anyway I'm going to draw around this so when I cut it out I'll be gluing it to this part of the, uh, the bit of chipboard that I've got here so I'm going to quickly cut that out using my Tim Holtz scissors. Now if you've got um, a vintage book at home then that's great. You can just use the uh, you know the music sheet paper out of that but I don't have any music sheet paper so I just done a Google search and I found this one that I liked so I thought I would use it you could instead of paint printing out onto just normal photocopy of paper you could print it out into cardstock and then you wouldn't need to have something rigid for its back for it to be glued onto that kind of skips this stage but I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't print it out on, on cardstock, I just printed it out on paper. So I need to give it some stability. So using my glue stick, and this is just a, a standard glue stick from the 99p store. Oh. And remembering to cut your hanger so it can be sandwiched between these two layers. So I'm just going to sandwich that in, use my cutout and place this on top. Now as I said if you used cardstock you would skip this, you wouldn't have to have something on the back. You can just use the rigidity of the cardstock to, um, to see it through. Now using my vintage photo distress ink, I am now going to distress the edges. All the way around. Just to give it that extra bit of distress. Vintage photo is one of my favorites anyway. You're also going to need some 
Google Eyes. And I have plenty of those. So let me put those there because now in my luck I'll end up knocking them over. Okay. I'm going to use the templates that I found online and cut out his hands, his arms. And his nose. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I've cut out the nose. Now you may um, recognize this nose. This nose is actually the nose from Olaf, which is the um, Frozen. Yeah, I think it's from Frozen. So using the dis Tim, my Tim Holtz Distress markers, this is Wild Honey. I'm just going to color in this carrot. And I'm going to be using Wild Honey and Riped Crimson just to give the just to give it a slight differences in colour in different areas. I've cut out the um, arms. Now you could back those if you wanted, you could back the nose if you wanted, or like the music paper, you could just print those out onto um, cardstock and you wouldn't have to worry about them being so flimsy. Now in my multitude of wob wobbly eyes and I've got four different sizes I'm going to be using the, t the, the smallest of size once I find one I can show you this is the size I'm going to be using really really small size now I actually put um, like coal that people use for their um, for the buttons but I just used three of the large eyes and took out the black bits inside so I'm going to do that with this one as well so using the art glitter glue I am going to adhere the nose and the eyes And you can put this on in any fashion you like. You could have it wobbly, have it crooked, have it straight, have it. I have one here where it's slightly off the page. This one here, I've put a, a bend in the in the paper, and it's slightly off the the uh, off the ornament just to give it like a 3D effect. All right, I'm gonna put some glue on the back of these googly eyes and place them on the snowmen. Or snowman. There we go. And these I'm simply just going to cut open and take out the the black inside. Now, if you've got a small a small circle punch, you could do that, or you could freehand them so they're not perfectly round. It's just this is easy, and we all like some easy things in life, don't we? So again, three dots, one, two, and three, and then I'm going to put these in place. And in the, on the previous ones, I've glittered the edges, and I just used this um, glitter glue in the gold, so I'm going to do the same thing. Get a paintbrush, get some of the glitter glue, and just smear it around the edges. Now you could, you know, have as much of this or as little as you like, it's to total preference. I tend to have it slightly heavier at the bottom and lighter on the top. So that's that. And again, just going to use some glitter glue for the the arms, and it, you can position these anywhere you want, and, and adhere them to the back. You could even sandwich them between the two cover, between the two layers of paper if you wanted to. 
and you could have it plain like those ones or you could add some ribbon for a scarf or you can add some uh, this one's got like a, a, um, a sign that says Merry Christmas and a twine scarf so you can decorate them as, as uh, you know as, as, as let your imagination go wild so that's a really easy and simple Christmas decoration for your tree. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week for week number three. Take care now. Bye bye.